I sat down to talk about something else, but then I saw this vegan activist can't even debate a kid. That's a great title. I got to click on it. It's uh, Asmund Gold. Isn't that the guy who doesn't shower? Or sorry, he didn't shower for 30 days because he had better things to do? Playing video games. I was laying in bed. Why would I do something that I don't have to do? There were a number of reasons why I take showers. I think one of the big reasons is so I don't look bald whenever I'm streaming, but I'm not streaming right now, so I'm pretty much good. Vegan TikToker argues with a kid? Describe no, a way to kill animals without <laughs> abusing them. Well, you can put them down slowly and make sure like they're like free yeah. before like so you like they're not born and then killed. Okay, what if I did that to you? Give that birth to me and then kill me. What if I killed you in your sleep and you didn't know I did it? Would that be okay? Why would you kill me in my sleep for? What if I was hungry? No, but at the same time you do. What's the difference? No, but no, but animals have been used for food for like years now, yeah. But humans don't. Does that justify it? We don't have to do it I don't anymore. Think it's justified. I just think bad and evil things have been going on for centuries, yeah. millennia. I'd eat him if he tasted good. Sure. Why do I like eating animals? Because they taste good. If cats tasted good, I'd eat cats. I mean, there are people who eat cats, so presumably they taste all right. Because the only thing I want is a nice meal. It's just amazing to me how many grown individuals will just say, yeah, I don't care. Is it the South Park <laughs> influence, right? I watched South Park as a kid, but then I grew up and I realized, oh, it, it is good to care about things. It is good to care that animals suffer and I don't have to eat them and I don't have to drink milk and I don't have to eat eggs. I can eat plants and I can be healthy. So why wouldn't I do that? So on the one hand, you know, it's kind of nice when people are at least honest and they're like, no, I don't care. I don't care about animals. But on the other hand, it's really unnerving, right? It's, it's really unnerving when people just admit that instead of what most people do is they delude themselves into believing that they're not actually harming animals because they do care about animals and they do know it's wrong. There's actually a great new paper about meat eaters deluding themselves when it comes to veganism and the environment specifically. Uh, it's really interesting, so maybe I'll do a video on that. Does that justify doing it today? Humans have raped one another. Humans have murdered one another. Yeah. Does that justify doing it today? No, it doesn't justify. <laughs> no, it doesn't justify. So why did you use that excuse? I didn't use an excuse. You did. You said we've been doing it for ages. It makes me really uncomfortable that he's asking a child these questions and how he's asking them and, and like interrupting him and just being kind of imposing like leaning toward him and the kids backing up I really I don't like it but now you can go to a grocery mm -hmm. store and choose a vegan option what's stopping you from doing that because I like meat you like meat you like yeah. the taste of murder like that's it it should be vegan activist shouldn't debate a kid like that was very weird and uncomfortable and what is that even supposed to show he's a literal child he's holding a ball like <laughs> Oh. Now, I guess what you could do is compare that to adults, right? Asking adults the same question because they say the same shit. They say exactly the same shit. I mean, he just ended with, I like meat, which is exactly what this 30 plus year old man said, right? It just comes down to, I like meat. I want to continue to eat these foods and I just don't care that much. I find it so pathetic the adult man was bothering a child with such topics. You have to understand that in the same way that we pick off animals and eat them because they're easy prey, he's doing the exact same thing. He's picking off a kid to have an emotionally charged argument about it. Yeah, I mean, again, adults do make the same arguments. But yeah, it, again, it makes me super uncomfortable that he's berating a child. It's weird. I'm not saying kids can't handle talking about these things, but I don't think that's the way you talk about these things with children. It's probably not the way you talk about them with adults either. <laughs> a lot of adults kind of need to be coddled. Let's be real. They need to be coddled when it comes to these issues because it's just so inflammatory for people, right? It's so uncomfortable because it means changing your choices, changing your actions, changing what you eat. People do not want to do that, but Again, often they don't want to just come out and say, well, I just like the taste of animals. Bye, that's it. But if you press them enough, that's what they'll end up saying, right? They'll start by saying other things that like, no, it's fine, actually. And they'll start by trying to justify it. But then they'll just end with, no, oh, I like meat. If somebody wants to be a vegan, I completely respect their decision. I just don't respect if they don't respect my decision not to be. And I think it's great that they want to do that. Maybe learn a little bit more about why we don't respect it, right? It's not just a diet. It has far-reaching consequences, what we eat far-reaching consequences. For animals, okay, you don't care about animals. For the environment, maybe you don't care about the environment either. For humans, I have an entire video, it's rather old now, but an entire video with five different 
human centered reasons why we should eat plants only. So no, I'm not going to pretend that I respect his decision to continue to eat animals. I'm not going to pretend that I respect his stance that, yeah, he would eat cats if he could eat cats, if they tasted good. I don't respect someone openly saying, I'm not compassionate and I don't care to be. Why would I respect that? That doesn't mean I think he's a bad person. People who watch my videos know that I typically refrain from talking about people as good or bad. I like to talk about actions themselves as good or bad. And because eating animals is so normal and has been so normal and will be so normal for a long time, it is so easy for even intelligent people to continue to eat animals and to defend it. There's no pressure on people to stop eating animals and animal byproducts. In fact, there's often pressure to continue to, right? To not be vegan. It's why, unfortunately, we can't just give people information, right? We can't just show people footage of what happens to these animals. We can't just talk about health. We can't just present the information and expect people to change. Some people will, and that's amazing, but for many people, there are so many reasons why beyond just liking meat or being afraid of change, right? There are so many reasons why people do not want to even just reduce their meat intake that have nothing to do with factual information. It's about the surrounding culture. It's about how we feel, how we identify, how we present ourselves to others, right? People are really afraid of looking weird to other people. So yeah, I don't know who this activist is. Maybe don't target children. I don't know how this all started, but like, it's not a good look. It's really weird. Earthling Ed could probably do it, right? He's much calmer and nicer, <laughs> right? He could probably talk to a child in an appropriate way, but this guy clearly cannot. So like, just stick to adults, man. But vegan activists can't even debate a kid. No, like the kid didn't win. What? He just said, I like meat. Come on. And of course, top comment. I find it interesting how some vegans argue against eating animals, yet animals in nature regularly prey on each other, often in quite brutal ways. Some vegans argue against eating animals. I'm pretty sure all, all vegans, all vegans argue against eating animals, but uh, it's just, just think, just think a little bit. What are some other things that animals do? Do we do those things because animals do them? They love to talk about the lion, right? The lion chasing the antelope. Do you know what they do to babies, right? When a new male comes along and takes over a pride, kills the previous male, he often will kill the male's babies, right? And then procreate with the remaining lady lions, lionesses, to have his own progeny. Instead, we have stepdads and stepmoms, and there are beautiful videos. I just saw one on Instagram. He was talking about, I think, his six-year-old kid, and the six-year-old kid did something for school or was something he likes to do with his dad, and he said that he likes to play video games with his dad. And the stepdad said, oh, you play video games with your dad too on the weekend? He said, no, I'm talking about you. <sighs> that to me is what it means to be human, to be able to have that level of compassion, to be able to care for others so deeply beyond just, well, this is, you know, extending my lineage or this is delicious, so I'm gonna eat it. Like we're, we're better than that. We're better than lions, aren't we? Anyway, very weird. I would love to know your thoughts and thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe and like the video. And of course, thank you so much to my members and patrons at patreon.com slash unnaturalvegan. I do post two exclusive videos a month for tier two members and patrons. I just got up the uh, controversial, the second exclusive video I do every month, the controversial one for June just yesterday, which was July. Uh, yeah, I've been gone for a while because you can probably tell my voice is still really weird. Well, it was way worse. And so recording was just not an option. So much coughing, pain, all of that stuff. Hopefully this is the last cold for the summer, at least till the start of the next school year. Thanks again, guys. New video soon.